Previously on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Hey, buddy. Hey, tell me if you feel this. Tell me if you can feel this. Alright, I'm. And now back to being dead. Hello! This is Sneaker B, back with some more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We last left off, I died. <laughs> Somehow, we don't know how yet, um, but it turns out I have awesome ghostly powers. I knew it. I knew I had I, I knew I had awesome ghost powers. Uh, and have the ability to travel back in time and do a bunch of cool, cool stuff. Anyway, uh, save some girl, and now I'm traveling time, uh, for the phone line to go find the bastard that, uh, ordered my, my, uh, my death, I think, so. All right. Chapter 2, 731 p.m. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who was sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. The other end of the phone line is the very man who kill had killed me. Our meeting, it's also our meeting. It's also sudden, but I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. I know it feels like we're skipping a few steps, going right to the right to the guy who killed me. N oh yes, what? what if? What I read in this file is true. This woman could be quite bedeviling bit of, quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. <laughs> Look at that big guy over there. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Seriously, why 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 would I hire him if his name is Nearsighted Jigo? What, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> because sir, you didn't know what that meant. You didn't know what that meant until about five minutes ago. <laughs> Not a worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> you stop smacking my my expensive equipment. Uh, whatever your name is. Hmm. Yes, but I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. If it was only over the telephone. Oh, so I I wasn't the target or something. They were going after her. I, um, I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite a tizzy there for a moment. Ha! <laughs> oh, that was, that was like totally awkward, dude. I was like, yeah, hmm, sorry about that. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and this odd little band here with the bushy eyebrows. <laughs> oh, no, and the odd, I thought he said, I thought he actually said that. That odd little machine, never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. He's an evil mastermind. <laughs> or assassins. And what's more, that red woman is another of their targets. Oh, okay, in addition, I, I took it as that she was originally the target. Maybe I was just there by accident. The file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Okay. Trick time! All right, I'm just gonna float here in the telephone. Uh, oh. Oh damn, I thought I was gonna I was gonna try to ring in. I thought maybe I'd like flip him out. Hi there. Oh. Oh yes, how much how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our back power back up power now, sir. The power should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Chico, I see. Every every year his rely, reliable range gets shorter and shorter. I tell him he should just get some fucking contact lenses like a normal human being. But it, <laughs> he'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. <laughs> sir, I believe he's dead. <laughs> uh oh. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? <laughs> <laughs> well said, Jenkins, or whatever your name is. My name is <laughs> How many times we're we gonna have this conversation, sir? My name is Billy Bob Thornton the Third, and I'm I'm some dude with a giant ghost penis. Woo! Wait a minute. So what am I doing here? Oh, I can do a trick here. Seems this file contains information about the redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Open it up. Oh, there we go. Holy shit! Great Scott, did you see that? There's a fucking ghost in my in my pamphlet here. The fire, I say. The fire reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. It was like... La, 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 la. <laughs> Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that Target Miss Lynn is no longer a threat, sir. Ah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Did you just see this? This shit is... <laughs> <laughs> it 
This fire is possessed. It's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lynn. So that's her, that's her name, is it? This file. It's like it was written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. It's it's called German, you <laughs> you fucking American pig. <laughs> Martin is just putting away the file and relaxing, sir. Oh, yes. Time for my soaps, isn't it? Right away, sir. Whoa! Whoa! This guy's got some fancy shit. Oh, what? Look at that! It's so awesome! Stop. How many times I tell you? Stop smacking the console. Whoa! He's got a little jiggle. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is so awesome. You're a very important job out of you tonight, sir. Dude, that was awesome. What the? Dude, how the hell is that? Is that is that bowl like glued to the table? Is the fruit glued to the table or to the bowl? <laughs> how is that thing went going from upside down to? Oh my god! Because I'm rich, I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> this is fun karma in another life, I think. Darn! This is a pickle. The phone and I gotta put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. Sure is a weird room. Travel through the, the phone line to get here. Where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Who are you? Tell me. Uh. Can't do any tricks here. Uh, whoop, wait. Operate? Okay, that must be it. Go back. <laughs> oh, what the hell is going on here? Egon, man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? <laughs> My apologies, sir, but I do not touch it, sir. Really? Sir, I swear, it wasn't me. I am docking that from your paycheck. No, sir, please. <laughs> Appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off. Con it's plain off. Confound it all. Hmm, yes, in any case... I don't wish to see the face of my our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? <gasps> it's me. Hey, that's. Ah, uh, yes. Mm, yes, Sissel. Oh, is that my name? Sissel. I swear. <laughs> Sissy Sissel. So you guys actually say, look, he looks like Johnny Bravo. You're right, he totally does look like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, baby, how about I take you down the lo uh, uh, love canal or something? I don't know. <laughs> he always says something, and then he gets punched in the face. Well, it goes well with our deal tonight. We will have the power to, power to change the world, sir. Mm, yes, it's very important night, indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make enemy mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel no much. No, we must be very careful. Whoa. What am I, some secret agent? Dude, I look like a secret agent. Come on. Sissel. That must be my name. I don't hear it. It does does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What, what could that all be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? What the hell have I been doing? I mean, stop smacking the fucking computer. That's probably why it's malfunctioning. You're smacking it so often. Sorry, sir, but I have big palms. I cannot help it. We're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Oh, good. I'm going to have some more grapes. Mmm. <laughs> mm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Ha! Ah, you get it? Because I got grapes in my hand. Yes, sir, I I, I, I get it. Oh, no, I, no, you got, you're, you're not laughing, though. Oh, no, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> That's more like it. I don't really dock your paycheck anymore. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. Another thing, there seems to be some connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here come up here like this? Okay, uh Oh, I bet I it may activate this thing and it'll flip over, right? Yeah, there we go. Have it bring me back down again. Where's your head, man? I told you I don't want to see this face. Stop fucking, fucking things doing. <laughs> fucking doodly doo ba blee ba ba <laughs> My fault, sir. Appears to be another malfunction, sir. I don't get it fixed, man, unless we want... You want to see me malfunction? Certainly, sir. I am Metalhead Man. 
I, don't, I am, I swear to God, if you smack the thing one more time, I'm smacking you. <laughs> These guys murdered me, now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? Maybe we were uh, awesome, hot, sexy lovers. Is there a, a button I can hit the, hold on. Oh, there we go, okay. I was getting annoying to have to drag with my mouse to click on every time. I say this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. Oh, the painting spinning around in the like. It's enough to give the give a man the jitters. <laughs> I have a pill that helps with that, sir. <laughs> my apologies, sir. The room was just completely cleared recently, sir. We're still trying to iron the kinks out, sir. Well, maybe if you didn't make everything so fucking complicated, I don't know. Maybe just instead of having the table flip over like a fucking inspector gadget, you just had a another table with fruit on it. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. We only we ride only the best for you, sir. Whatever. This, Jesus Christ. I mean. Really? I don't really... Do I need a flipping painting that also serves as my filing cabinet? <laughs> do I need a chandelier? Is that really necessary? <laughs> oh, you, need, you people need to work out your priorities. I don't know who's working in the freaking banking... Or the... The freaking... Working the freaking money in the stupid or evil mastermind's headquarters, but... Oh, I am firing them. I just hope that's all, all it is. And you got man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Tell me. Tell me why? I'm going to possess his grapes. Eat me. And I go inside his belly. Oh, here we go again. Arrgh. What the? Oh, son of a bitch. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be star be startled by the telephone that doesn't even ring. <laughs> ah, giggat. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. Dude, more pathetic, we start with the same phone on the phone twice. Ah, stupid phone. <laughs> the problem must be, must be solved, sir. I'll get right on it. The miscellaneous problem, sir. No, that's... Ah, you're not paying any attention, are you? I can't hear anything. I can't hear you very well with this metal, metal thing on my head, sir. What, Lin? Mm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I said... I sent one step ahead, Tengu. One step ahead, Tengu, to her apartment, sir. <laughs> is, that, is that another killer guy? The telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Ah, oh, hello. Liz in danger. Ah, go, ghost power. Go, ghost penis. <laughs> oh, should I give him the most Shurige voice? He's got glasses. I don't know. I'm like... I'm, I have a feeling it's just like another, it's just another henchman, so it's like, should I wait, is it a waste if I give it to this guy, is there anyone else I could possibly give it to later? Whatever, I'm gonna give it to him, and then if it ends up being somebody else later, I can just give it to him again. <laughs> this is one step ahead, dang it, I'm at the target's apartment now! And out with it, man, have you taken care of her? No, she, she isn't back yet. I'm a crazy killer! <laughs> but... <laughs> It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead. Head now, would they? Would they? I don't think so. I don't get it. But, <laughs> but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, can you promote me to head of the Hitman Division? Because that's what I've always wanted. I'll be so stoked. But no, man, you're not even. Now you're not, not even getting one step ahead of me. <laughs> Please discuss my new salary later. <laughs> Great, Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your, la la your last one step ahead. <laughs> I'll get, get back to my job now, sir. Farewell! Confound it, you don't even hang up on step ahead. Stop doing... Uh, uh. Why do I keep hiring hitmen with fucking weird names? <laughs> weird nicknames or something. Lynn's apartment, okay. What do you say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some nearsighted jiggos pay. <laughs> I mean, he's he's dead, right? Lynn, can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. The mystery of me. All right, let's do it. Woo! Woo! Phone line. Phone line fun. Is that a dog? Oh my God! You killed a dog! What the hell? You. You sick, twisted fuck. I mean, he's, I don't think he look. I don't think he's sleeping. If he is, and he's a very heavy sleeper. Oh, poor little doggy. What the hell is you? 
What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. That, uh, I don't know. So is it bad that I, I get really pissed, more pissed off when I see like a dog dead than I do if I saw like a person dead? I don't know. Just because I, I, I don't know, dogs are so like innocent. It's like, I don't know. The telephone line guy me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And he's chilling out. Nah, I'm gonna watch me some TV. There are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh. <laughs> huh. Looks like there's an unlucky lady here tonight. Nah. <laughs> she tied up. Even luckier, unluckier little doggy. Oh my God, he is dead. A poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. Oh, poor little buddy. I love you. Then came home now. I have to do something about the situation fast. Trick time. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> look at it, little. I guess it must be around Christmas time. Little Santa Claus riding around. Wee. She have headphones on or something? That near side Jigo is really losing his touch. Looks like the title of head of the Hitman Division will soon be mine. Pro never takes his eyes off his prey. A cigarette getting promoted. <laughs> this is what happened. This is another timeline where Moshri where Moshirige decided to take his psychotic his psychotic killing to an to another level where he got paid for it. This is full memory about sitting there with his face in donuts. Oh yeah, there is a donut over there. No. Never mind that. I'd better rescue that poor little lady. Yeah, poor little doggy too, of course. Oh, oh, I can. S That's right. I forgot. I've got ghost powers. I can probably save him. Uh. Oh, just a ghost of the dog. Uh. Oh, uh, where am I? More to the point. Who? Who am I? Uh? I don't know. <laughs> who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Uh. What? Oh, uh, I. I guess I'll give him the. <laughs> I can give it a funny book. <laughs> of course you see anyone else around here. What I mean, I can't be sort of this slimy voice. I'm assuming. If I remember that right. The dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress' apartment. You are presumably the little doggy who died here. Died so I'm dead, huh? You see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. So that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh, there he go! Oh, what? <laughs> There's no time to lose! <laughs> oh, it's a little, it's a little poofy dog. Look at <laughs> Miss Camilla, my Miss Camilla's in trouble. You mean you remember, and you know who you are? That's right. I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. <laughs> missile? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a missile in the Phoenix Wright game? Was that was that what the dog was called? Am I wrong? I. That sounds, this seems, this sounds familiar. <laughs> Were you that dog in that other game? <laughs> it's right, I came for, I came for that game to this game. Uh, I, I'm a Pomeranian. <laughs> 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 oh, I can already tell I'm going to love you. <laughs> well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thank you, this little goober head. Oh, you just depressed this little goober? Yes, you are. <laughs> Mr. Miller is in trouble, and I found a vote by left protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How can I let her down like this? No! Oh. <laughs> so you're more worried about the mistress' safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna save you, little booger. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's a kickle. Little, little cute little dog. He's talking. <laughs> Four minutes. Seven thirty-three. But I was no. See, first of all, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? <laughs> oh, you followed me. Wait, wait. You do that? <laughs> I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Hmm, looks like the dead can move around together. All right. This is the land of the four minutes before your death. Really? We're, we're really here? That's so cool, look at that! Oh, oh, that's my favorite spot, I love that! That's, that's the spot where I pee! That's the spot where I poop a lot! So that means you're going to save Mr. Camilla, doesn't it? Are you even surprised? I mean, we just travel through time and... <laughs> Not especially, I don't really... <laughs> Probably because I don't know what it means! I mean, Mr. Camilla can walk around two legs, but I can't do that! <laughs> so she can do that! It's not too strange that you can walk backwards through time. <laughs> so 
That's the way your mind works, eh? Is this real enough? Nah. <laughs> Funny little doggy. Come on, come on, let's get started! I'm a pauper idiot! I'm a pauper idiot! <laughs> I'm so fluffy! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold, then we use what we learned to say, Camilla. Alright. Just like when I save Lynn at the junkyard. Watch closely. We ought to be able to ke get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Loot to me to stuff out a few clues! <laughs> N Yippee, I found the remote! T! <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's Santa! Santa! I see you, Santa, I'm gonna get you! N shut that motor! Shut, shut the hell up! N no, no, Miss Lou, you're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight! I am so fucking trashed! If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! You better believe it, I'm gonna fuck that shit up! Y you don't wanna knock the wall down, do you, boy? Uh, why do I- why do you like to bark so much anyway? You- you sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Don't I really want to watch TV, too. Hey, no, I'll listen to music! Yeah, she was. Okay, she had some headphones on. Nah. Oh, I bet she doesn't hear the guy come in or something, right? Whoop, whoops! Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, look, he's so excited, little doggy. I'm so... <laughs> I'm in the mood for donuts. Mood for donuts tonight. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking donuts. Look at all those. Check there's one floor. Uh, oh, hello, little mousey. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, she isn't. He isn't. She isn't here. I'll lock this wall down. Don't fuck with me. I'm gonna punch through this shit. I'm gonna falcon the punch the fuck out of this. Eh, I'm gonna murder. Oh, hey, buddy. No, no, don't shoot the dog. Mm, I don't really like like it when a job at jobs outside the original scope crop up. I put it. I put it down as they set for a charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Oh my god, what the hell, dude? The dog wasn't even, like... The dog wasn't even mad at him, like... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to hurt you, I loved you! <laughs> and you shot me in the face, you suck! So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Well, look at that, I'm, I'm dead! I'm kinda shocked to tell the truth. <laughs> okay, let's get started, Samuel. Let's see, uh, how are we gonna do this? Seems the easiest way would be for me... Will be for you to take a big bite of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Whenever someone I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! <laughs> Welcome, my missile. Give me biscuits. I'm hungry. I can't help it. See, he wasn't even like, look at him. He wasn't even doing anything. Why would you shoot him? You, just, you could have taken a dog and put him someplace else or pet him and give him a cookie. <laughs> Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she can do that. Did you notice she put those red things things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? I don't know if she puts those red things on. That's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore. But she never hears me. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. I hate them. <laughs> oh, you're right. Those headphones on our little lady doesn't hear, even hear the... Se the sound of the intruder's gun. Holy shit. Her ears are probably bleeding. <laughs> so that's our first lead. Now we have to... S I have something, just something about that. I saw her juggle it over the aquarium. I'm gonna guess I have to do something to, to get her to drop it in there. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we have the phone there. I can reach this. Alright. Open! Uh, extend? Huh. Oh, so close! You almost sent those red things down! I think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camille won't be able to use them anymore. But we dropped them in the fish tank, Miss Camille will get a skull from his lid! I do just pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you're obviously never seen Miss Lid get mad when she, when she gets mad! She takes my cookies away! I love my cookies! 
Hmm, okay. This just seems easy enough. Just wait for her when she gets over here and then just go whack. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Reaching up. Whack it! Yes! Oh no, I fucked it up! Damn it! Damn it! I didn't wait. I, I did it too soon. Here we go. Yeah! Yes! Huh. Oh no, darn! <laughs> How did I manage to do that? <laughs> How the hell did the umbrella get possess itself? I just bought those headphones too. Huh. How if we tell her tell her you did it, Bissell? <laughs> no, don't do that, please! <laughs> darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. Camilla, I'm only doing to save you! <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Camilla. I love you. <laughs> so what? So so what? Now you th now you think you're one of the, one of the gods, eh? What? No, no, I did. The point thing is, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Oh, cool. All right. Gives a little bit more time. Now what do I do? Uh, well, I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably done with this thing. So let's go ahead and uh. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. There we go. I can move the cart. I can rock the bowl. Yeah, I should move this cart. Woo! Where'd the donuts go? The hell? Oh, I see. She switched sides. Okay. Uh, what if I rock this thing? What's that do? Oh, drop a donut over there. Oh, is that gonna save the dog? Then maybe he won't see it. Oh no, I there's a little mousy. There's a little mousy friend. Uh, star ornament. What's this do? <laughs> Shut that man up! <laughs> Nah. Okay, uh... If you bark like how can anyone enjoy the, the pretty melody? Your poor mistress has to, get, has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior! Hey, look at that. When the ornaments fell off the tree. I, I'm not sure things like that! I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago! Start graduated from needless barking, too. I'm sorry, it's the one thing I can never just give up! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh, I bet I can wait for Santa. Yep, I gotta write the Santa. There we go. Uh, okay. I, I, if I open that door, I can smack it, right? Smack this thing away. Smack it! There we go. Uh, what did that do? Wow, you, th you said that thing flying! I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. Yeah. Hey, how come you... You're looking at me when you say that? <laughs> Wait a minute, under the sofa, eh? That might be a good spot... F oh, be a spot the Hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Kamala climbs under the sofa all the time! Trying to catch me! <laughs> you're na you're a naughty little dog, aren't you? Aren't you, little goober? So my new plan is to hide that little lady under the, the sofa. The only problem now is how do I lead her under there? Um, well, I smack that under there. What, what, did that not do anything? I can speed this thing up. What does that do? Woohoo! Can I, oh, I can reach this. Latch. What the hell did I just... What did I just drop down? Save your spell and quit dramatically, too! It's like wooden box, a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad I didn't fall in Mr. Camilla's head. Yeah, me too. We don't need to add to, to the number of ghosts around here. Okay, wait for the thing to come around. And, okay, I see. Now, rotate slower. I can get the... Back down here. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let's try to rock the bowl. Get that get the mouse to come out again. I can't make another donut fall. What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come up and I won't bark. And the barking part is your favorite, right? Looks like only one donut will fall. We only get one chance. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to have to restart, probably. Let's start from the very beginning, because that would kind of suck. Um, I'm guessing I get, the, I get the donut over there, the mouse comes over, and then I can jump over to there and smack the mouse away. Let's try that. Can I have to... Oh, good. I don't have to start from the very beginning. Okay, cool. That's good. All right. Away I go. All right. Watch this. Take this, Mousy. Woo! <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Missile, no. There we go. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? <laughs> oh, my little missile, you're always doing the cutest things. <laughs> Aw, he's cute. Yeah, here it comes. Mushroom, you gotta kill. Uh, nobody's here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Sweet. Gonna have me some donuts. My prey is bound to come here sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meantime. Time to watch TV. Mmm, <laughs> donuts. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> there, a little lace face been averted. It is. The boy think he's still covered up in a ball, jingle with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. Hey, look, you're not dead. Yay! Oh, you're right. We did it, didn't we? We, we, we did it, didn't we? We did it. <laughs> I'll be precise. You're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I, James Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led led her into the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, free to order. Can I ask a question? Sure. What is it? What exactly are your straight power years? I mean, my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're powered to manipulate inanimate objects. Pretty cool, huh? If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those doors as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. <laughs> Come on, ghost powers, go. What do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. I have one thing to say to that. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. I want my ghost. I want donut ghost powers. Give me the donut power. Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets to the power powers of the dead. So what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing really. Your death has been erased. You're probably just gonna go back to being a happy little doggy and living your everyday life. This just means goodbye. Boy, we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe if you die again. <laughs> Waiting for me tonight. I'll never forget it. I'm never gonna forget it. Yeah, well, I guess we better get back to the present. Let's see what happens next in our story. All right, bye-bye, ghost doggy. I love you. That <laughs> 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 little dog is so funny. I like the artwork in this game too, like little faces and stuff. And now a new present is born. Little lady's still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear, and little doggy's wagging his tail happily. And she's not barking. That would suck. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna watch for a little while and see what happens. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> Hello, you've reached Lynn residence. <laughs> this is crazy psycho killer. <laughs> what? What? Still, still the junkyard. All right, I got it. I'm on my way. Son of a. Huh? I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She is. Hasn't had enough of the junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let Nearside Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. Oh, should we get away? Damn it, stupid door. <laughs> you see, this is why we lock our doors. <laughs> what, what 
was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Uh. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Uh. Lynn! Oh shit, here we go. Trick time. Uh. Uh. Okay, wait. Come back around. There we go. Uh. Woo! I'm not really sure what the box thing was about. It didn't really seem to accomplish anything. Knocking that box down. There's that cute little, cute little dog you call Curl up on the floor, dreaming away at life. He, we worked so hard to get him back for, get back for him. It's fine, but what's up with that core? The deck can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules the Desolate taught me. So what would a living and breathing dog be doing with a core? I'll try possessing him and seeing. Yeah, what, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, it's you, it's you! I uh, guess it's good we ran to each other again then. Hey, <laughs> you remember me, yay! It's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, they're too full goodbye. <laughs> you act like we just said goodbye like five seconds ago. Oh, wait, what? I, I miss you! You know, it, it, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me that you're now you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead, I mean the ghost world of Epicor when they return to the land of the living. The fuck is up with that? If I possess that core, I can talk to that person. What the friggin' doodle nugget? That probably means I can talk to Lynn then again, right? <laughs> it looks that way, yes. I don't know what you, I don't know what any of you said means, but I guess so. Cool. Hey! <laughs> so, uh... Deck ability never fails. What never fails? Until she gets on that, that black hello, she she talks and talks and forgets all about me. <laughs> the black hello. <laughs> you know how much I run around show off, she never gets a, never even glances at me. So that's what you... That was... That was you showing off, eh? I'd like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! Take me with you! No, I can't. I gotta go on my adventure. I gotta leave you here, though. No! Uh, okay. What we got going on? Camilla, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm, a, uh, I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what I just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. You might be in danger if you stay there, too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Maybe at the chick at the restaurant at chicken dinner on dead I didn't drive. <laughs> are you not li are, are you not listening what she said? Didn't drive? I, I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Oh. I guess that must be a thing I knocked down, right? Music box? <laughs> I like music boxes. Is it a present for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the the lid open. You can't very well call it a music box, then, can you? Or just like a box. <laughs> just bring it, goddammit! It's kind of big and made of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Uh, what the hell? Oh, excuse me! <laughs> oh! Oops. Uh, that, you drop things in there a lot, don't you? I probably should put a lid on that thing. <laughs> Don't have to drop the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how... How how would he even manage to do that? Seriously. <laughs> I grabbed the phone in my mouth and I just threw it in there. But I sure hope Lynn's all right. I better get going. I know where, I know where, where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? <laughs> I knocked it down. It's on the Christmas tree. Help me look, okay? Trick time. I well, honestly you probably found it. Oh, oh, I see it. I'm gonna. Oh no, I didn't mean it. To... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. It's down. Okay, I've scoot myself over. <laughs> She's like, what the hell was that? Okay, now look over here.
Oh, please tell me. Okay, good. I was like, please tell me you saw it. This is it, the music box. Yippee! <laughs> that was easy. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find, find you flat underneath that wall when I came home. <laughs> oh, he's like... Fish, come here and take me with you, I have you. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. <laughs> no promises! Yeah. Well, cool. Can I get him to do stuff for me, then? Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the flat fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think of that. I guess I can't just go through the phone. It's it's like one of those old phones, right? Still, I probably... I mean, the, phone's, the other part of the phone's still plugged in, just the receivers. Ah, well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I know, I, I guess I'm going in through the receiver, so I guess, yeah. I find myself trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging, too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Out of the fruity pebbles. Is it ending here? Oh, this is all... <laughs> this game is per has such perfect timing. <laughs> oh, it's just like it's just like Phoenix Wright ends at, like, the... Uh, a chapter or whatever ends, it's just the perfect time. All right, well, I guess I'll end it here for now, guys. This game's awesome. I'm loving it. So it's so cool. I, lo I love that little. I love Missile. He's so funny. The little, little shy little Pomeranian doggy. Um. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now to hop board the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And until next time, guys, stay classy.